Welcome back to Good Day 524 TGIF, and it's going to be an awesome day. You know, Lockheed Martin has been a huge part of Colorado for over 50 years. They helped NASA get to space and navigate space, and now that facility near Roxborough Park is building satellites and doing it like they've never done before. Take a look. Nestled against the mountains, the Lockheed Martin facility is a bit of a mystery to many Coloradans, but what they do in here is defining the future out there and they're doing it in a whole new way. This is a, a 3D immersive cave, so it's a, a rear projection system that uh, displays a 3D image that almost looks holographic, like you can kind of reach out and touch it. They can develop products in a computer and then interact with them in the cave. It allows us to bring in our spacecraft designs, our facility designs, our tooling, and review them in a lifelike 3D environment. And engineers and technicians would come in here and they can move around this virtual world and see what they're working on before ever actually building anything. It's tracking your glasses, so wherever you look or go, um, it's, it's going to move the scene. He says they spot problems virtually before it's too late. Next to the cave, they use a 3D Oculus headset along with these white balls to do even more 3D prototyping. Why am I wearing this? So that is going to help track your hand. So, so, the, so the, the, the spheres on this uh, helmet uh, track your head, and then the spheres on this uh, prop here are going to track your hand. They perfect their design with virtual reality, then it's 3D printer time. And at Lockheed Martin, uh, size does matter. This right here is a propellant tank sphere, and it is essentially a piece of a propellant tank that's been 3D printed by that big giant machine behind me. The beauty of this is that it's taking titanium wire, taking it to a molten state, and printing, in this case for our application, a propellant tank. This is 3D printing like you've never seen it before. Lockheed Martin is 3D printing the future of space. Our vision is that someday this factory here now, um, we will print we will print an entire satellite. That's our vision. And so a big part of their new push is that they're doing everything digital from design all the way until the moment when they print out these final parts. They hope to be able to build a satellite in about 18 months from beginning to finished satellite. They're not there yet, but they're working on it. And this was 3D printed by one of their smaller 3D printers. It's titanium. I can't believe it. Ken, try to crush it. He, he t it looked John like a cat right toy. Now. He's so he tells me, and it, it's very, very light. I mean, it bounces. You can stand on it. He told me to stand on it. Well, they're space parts. They've got to be smush strong. It. He can't do it. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. That is Isn't awesome. That crazy? It's happening and in our just... backyard right down the road. That's the cool thing about it. Very expensive cat toy. <laughs>